And turning to your health now, if you've had the chicken pox, you're at risk of getting shingles. Yeah, there is a vaccine to prevent it, but it's only recommended for people over the age of 50, even though shingles can strike at any age. NBC5's Lauren Petty is joining us in studio to explain why. Lauren. Well, the viral infection is more common in older people, but we are hearing stories of shingles impacting younger people, including one of our producers who is in her 40s. She was shocked when she was diagnosed two weeks ago. 2020 started out unexpectedly for NBC5 producer Bridget Minogue. My gland under my chin was like a golf ball, like extremely swollen. And I had just a little spot right here in my neck. Minogue was stunned at her doctor's diagnosis. I think you have an early sign of shingles. And I said, no way. I said, I'm too young. He said, actually, you're not. People who had chicken pox as a child, about half of us will get shingles. That's because shingles and chicken pox come from the same virus. And even when you've recovered from chicken pox, the virus stays dormant in your nervous system. You can pick a nerve ending anywhere in your body, and this is the one it picked for you. Shingles often appears as a rash and can be very painful. The pain kicked in after maybe two, the third day was probably the worst. There are two vaccines approved to prevent shingles. The newest one, Shingrix, was in such high demand last year, its maker had to increase production but it's only approved for people age 50 and over. I know people have had it more than once and they're in their 40s. So it doesn't make sense that you shouldn't be able to get that vaccine until you're over 50. Dr. Schwartz says the age recommendation is based on FDA testing and risk. The risk of getting shingles is relatively low among younger people. If you had chicken pox as a kid, your risk of getting shingles increases every year you get older. The ability of the body to keep the original chickenpox virus in check uh, seems to wane with time. If you are over the age of 50, you may want to consider the shingles vaccine, but be aware there can be complications, including swelling and fever. And the Shingrix vaccine is not covered by all insurance companies, so be sure to check with yours. And we have one other thing we wanted to point out. Many children nowadays get the chicken pox vaccine, and there's good news for them. Studies show the risk of getting shingles is much lower than someone who had a natural chicken pox infection, like a lot of parents. Mm -hmm. Patrick? All right. Thank you, Lauren.